There's a place called Farmer's Luck, the place where I grew up. There's a In the previous episode, we explored the Portuguese coast all the way down to Lisbon, and there we had to say goodbye to our friends Karina and Sebastian, who had been sailing with us for a week. In this episode, Chris's sister and mother arrives from Sweden, and together we explore the beautiful city of Lisbon. After that, we head out to Cascais before we untie the lines and start our eventful four-day sail towards Madeira. We're in Lisbon! And yesterday, Chris' mom and sister and his nephew arrived. And today we're out sightseeing. It's the second capital we're in, so it's gonna be nice. Du kan gå, eller ni kan gå om ni vill. Oj, vad hon tog tid på sig. It felt really good to have my family visiting and in one day we saw a big part of Lisbon. We ended the day with going up to Sao George Castle which lies in the center of Lisbon on a huge hill. We watched the sunset from there and after one day of capital bus we decided it was time to head back out to beautiful Cascais to get some nice peace and quiet. <laughs> what do you think of Portugal? It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you prefer Lisbon or Cascai? You must even find So, what happened at the restaurant? Did you get bird poo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Showered in bird poo. It's quite terrible. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they are not very. <laughs> w w what do you say, rooms <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how how no housebroken. Yeah. yeah, they should tame the birds. <laughs> not good for a tourism. But I heard it. It means good luck. <gasps> yeah. When you get pooped by a bird. At least that's what I keep telling myself <laughs> since three hit me. <laughs> This camera is heavy. <laughs> I need I need to work out. But I'm gonna continue doing this. Brit! Nu får vi klicks här. Nu får vi klicks. After a short weekend together, it was time for Sarah and Franz to fly back to Sweden. My mother stayed behind to help us bring the boat out to Madeira and later on the Canaries. 
So we had a lot of boat projects we wanted to get done to get the boat ready for some ocean sailing. We did some shopping, we did some boat projects, and when everything was ready, we untied the lines and started our five day sail out to Madeira and Porto Santo. We have just left uh, Cascais and we are now heading for Madeira. Hopefully, we'll get there. Okay, we have a meeting boat in front of us. Uh, hopefully we'll get to Madeira if um, the swell is too big. Uh, it's supposed to be four meters today. Uh, we'll maybe just get to Cecilia. Fingers crossed that we'll get to Madeira. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, då ska vi lägga till. So we're heading out to sea and the VHF is making noise and we just left Cascais and we're heading out to sea. Uh, the forecast seems good, it's a big swell coming in but it seems uh, big and slow so it should be fine. And, uh, bow watching the waves roll by and uh, the winds are starting to die down a bit but not too bad but it's all right and tomorrow we'll probably have some super light winds and we'll have to motor all day uh, but it's nice we're more than halfway it's beautiful sailing sea is blue sun is shining Nice.
finally got my sea legs. I got it yesterday. It's really, really good. Uh, today it's super calm. There's no wind. Uh, a bit of a swell. And here's Chris. Yoohoo! How you doing? I'm fine. Mighty fine. Our water maker water. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay. That smells like or a thousand farts. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Just smelt it. So how do you think it has been so far? Uh, first today has been... Um, no, you my ass. Um, first two days were not so nice and now it's been really nice the last couple of days. And now when there's no wind, you can still see that there's a bit of a swell. It's really hot and you can feel that we're getting close to the Madeira. What are you thinking about, Chris? Mr. Philosopher. Life. Yeah. There's no room for a bubble on a boat. There's always someone that will come and be like, Hey you, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, have you filmed the water? It is incredibly blue. arrive tomorrow morning the sea is like oil right now it's incredibly beautiful looks almost like a motion painting or something sailing has been but also full of contrasts as it usually is we've had 22 knots of wind and now we have no wind we've had huge swell 4.5 meters and now we have almost nothing mm. um, I've been to hell and back into heaven uh, to hell when I had my seasickness and now it's just incredibly beautiful and I have almost forgotten how bad it was at the beginning. Uh, but it wasn't too bad since both Chris and Brit could help. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's really tough being so sick. Super, super excited about arriving in Madeira uh, and the Canaries later on. I've never been there, but first, yeah, first we're going to Porto Santo. That would be really fun to see. We'll stay there for a day or two, uh, I'd guess, and then we'll head on further to Madeira, which is a day's sail away. I gotta show you Chris is asleep. Sleeping Beauty and this one is new. We put a piece of wood here so you won't fall out when it's 
rolling. Works really well. Not that beautiful though. It was a really intense feeling to hit Porto Santo, which is a really small island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It felt really good to see land again and feed solid ground under our feet. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for next week when we put our mark on Porto Santo and head over to one of the most epic islands we've ever visited. Have an awesome week everyone and see you soon again. I hope you enjoyed this episode, please comment down below and give it a thumbs up.
Don't forget to click on the bell after you hit subscribe to receive notifications when we put out new videos.